I think it is. It's their hearts. One Macon family is pleading for pedestrian deaths to end after they lost someone they loved three years ago. Witness said that he was coming home from that direction. Dorothy Dean lost her boyfriend of five years in 2016 when he was hit by a car on his way home near Pinona Avenue. He was in the hospital for 15 days. His heart stopped three times and he was gone. Israel Perez was 32 years old when he was killed in a hit and run. They could find the one that hit him. Be a man or a woman, go admit to you and do your time. Dean and her daughter Barbara Wimberly live right off of the busy intersection. And we watch these folks go up and down this road like NASCAR. I mean, they have no courtesy for how they're speeding through here. Wimberly says her son's life could be in danger. I have a 14 year old that has to walk these roads too to go catch the bus. It scares me because I do not want to walk and it be my child laying out here. Perez's family wants the community to remember that you're in control of your vehicle. I mean, people need to stop and think, OK, that could have easily been one of their kids. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody can to them. Perez's ashes are all they have left. They tell me Israel Perez went from having a name to just being a number.